Hey guys, welcome back. So I had no Friday loves this week, but that's okay because we have monthly favorites to talk about. And I have so much stuff to talk about this month. It's been like a good makeup month. And I don't know if I've ever had, well, I've had bad makeup days, but not necessarily bad makeup months, unless my skin's like breaking out or whatever. Anyways, basically I have lots of things to talk about today and I actually won't have Friday Loves for a few weeks now because my husband is going to be returning very, very soon. I'm so excited. So I have some things pre-recorded and so some videos will still be going up. It just won't be like Friday Loves kind of thing, but it'll still be good stuff. Actually, I think it's better than Friday Loves, but that's just my opinion. So anyways, let's get into these favorites. First things first. I don't know why I do this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I think it's because I'm filmed in like a week, so I feel a little out of my element. Um, and you know what's funny? You can be, I mean, I think I've made close to 400 videos by now, which that's a lot. <laughs> um, that's a lot of videos. And I don't know if it ever gets easier, truthfully, <laughs> because you keep like upping the ante for yourself. Like you go back and you watch your old videos and your makeup was atrocious, the content was good, or the content was kind of meh, and your makeup looked good, you know what I mean? Like, so now I feel like every single time I need my makeup to look good and I need the content to be good and I just keep setting that bar higher and higher, you know? So hopefully you think things are getting better and not worse. However, some, some days things are much worse. But my wine. This wine, let's see, I drank a few other things this month, but this one I specifically saved for you because I picked this up during um, like Christmas, so I don't know if this is limited edition for winter or whatever, but it's good. Um, the Cupcake Vineyards Black Forest Decadent Red. I think this is a blend, quite frankly. Um, it doesn't say, what is it? Um, I don't know, guys, I think it's a blend. But basically, it's really good. Um, deep flavors of blackberry, dark cherry, hints of spice and mocha, and a long, complex finish. Um, it is. It's kind of a complex wine, quite frankly. It's not super fruity. It's got a little bit of a spice. It's smooth. Um, it smells delicious. And I don't know, I thought the packaging was really pretty. Um, so yeah, pick yourself up a little Black Forest Decadent Red. I think this is a great wine to have like in the winter time with like a hearty pot roast or a good juicy caramelized steak with some mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm a mashed potatoes and gravy girl. I'm a meat and potatoes girl. I love my meat. And let me just digress for a minute. So I'm like working out at the gym and I'm doing weight training right now, which is new to me completely. So I hired a personal trainer and she has me eating 175 grams of protein on a 2000 calorie a day thing. So basically I need to eat a lot of meat, which I'm okay with. But let me just tell you, when you eat that much, like protein and carbs, like you're never hungry. Like right now, I'm not hungry, but I have to go downstairs <laughs> and eat a chicken salad wrap when I'm done filming this in order to get all of my, um, meet my protein for the day. And the reason I have to do that is because if you want to build muscle, you have to eat feed the muscle. <laughs> you can't just get by just doing what you were doing because that wasn't working for me and I wasn't seeing results like I wanted to and it's because I wasn't eating the right things. So anyways, it's awesome to eat that much but at the same time you're like full, <laughs> which is good. I mean, I don't know why I'm complaining that I'm full except for <sighs> I'm full, but my booty's going to love it because it's going to be nice and firm and ugh, that's what I'm going for. All right, so that was my wine of the month and um, Let's move into these. Let's just quickly mention these. So we are almost to Valentine's Day. I can't believe it's almost Valentine's Day again. Um, and I wanted to share these with you because we're, my, my family, my husband and the kids and I are going to make these for Valentine's Day. I have two of them. And I love little pre-made things like this because with the kids, it's already done. And I think all I have to add is like egg, butter. Let's see. Yeah. Egg, butter, and vanilla. That's it. So such a great way to get your kids in the kitchen without making a gigantic disaster. And it's so cute. These are from the Mason Jar Cookie Company. I think they make great little gifts too. You know, little teacher gifts if you have kids in school or a grandparents gift for grandparents or whatever. So there's this one that has like the pink sprinkles and stuff and then there's one with red. Aren't these cute? So we're totally gonna be making these and eating these probably before Valentine's Day, realistically, just because they've seen these sitting up here and they're like, oh, I wanna make those and I keep telling them, we gotta wait for daddy to come home and we'll make them together. Um, so anyway, the Mason Jar Cookie Company, you can order these online. And have I seen these in store? I swear I've seen these in store. Um, but you can order these online, so I just wanted to share 
what we're going to be doing for Valentine's Day. And, um, okay, so, oh my gosh, I have so much makeup products. Let's just start somewhere because this is always long. I'm going to stay in the Valentine's wavelength for a second and just mention this and this. So let's just go from that to eyeshadow palettes of the month. Okay, I've recently become an eyeshadow junkie and my first love will always be lipstick and like foundation. Those are like my two, and blush. Lipstick, foundation, and blush are like my top three things when it comes to makeup that I, um, I have a lot of because I'm obsessed with. Um, and somehow I've accumulated a lot of eyeshadow and I think it's just because they've been coming out with such good palettes recently and you just really need to have them. So. The Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, I bought this earlier in the month, and it's great. <laughs> it's so great. I'm wearing it today, and I thought I would do a Valentine's Day tutorial, date night look or something with this, just because it's cutesy and it's valentines -y and whatever. So I have this sitting open this morning as I'm doing my makeup, and all I can smell is the lovely smell of these shadows. And uh, you know they're amazing. It's just you know you're using a Too Faced product. If you know even if you're blindfolded and you're sitting here doing your makeup, you know you're using a Too Faced product because you can smell it. Um, so anyways, I thought I would do a look with these, but I'm just really impressed. They're they're great. Um, I think I like this one a little better than the Semi Sweet, but I still like the original palette. Um, I think the shades in here they're so buttery. I'm wearing Ca Cafe a Latte on my lid, and Satin Sheets is oh must have. It's like this duochrome champagne pinky gold color stunning the matte shades in here blend so well so well they're just beautiful um and i like the colors in here because they're not the same as other more neutrally type palettes that i have there's like pops of pink and stuff and don't be scared of these pinks i know i was thinking what am i going to do with them but they actually go on kind of they're not like bang like this baby pink is actually really pretty on the lid it's not so scary and this d darker pink I would just throw that in the crease and kind of blend it out, create like a, kind of like a sunset where it goes from pink to like warm tones and whatever. I think I would blend it in there and it's just a great way to incorporate it. Or you could do it for a pop of color, whatever. But I'm just saying, really been enjoying this palette and I will do a look for you with that. Um, the other palette I think you need, <laughs> before they do not sell it anymore, I'm really impressed with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. This wasn't on my radar. I wasn't going to buy it. But the, the quality, oh, dang it, the, I wiped the uh, wipe on this and it got all funky and, ugh. Anyways, these are a different formulation than the Naked palettes, in my opinion. I feel like these are better. These remind me of the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette that I have spoken of before. Um, the, the mattes in that palette and this palette are one and the same. They're just buttery, creamy, they blend. Um, and I sometimes have issues blending Urban Decay's um, shadows because they're drier or something. I don't know. Um, but once again, it's the same idea. Those, that pink and that blue in here. And I did do a tutorial using this. If you're interested, I'll link that below. Um, but they're not as crazy dark as they seem. Like that pink color looks like it's going to be like cotton candy in your eyes. No, it actually goes on really sheer and it actually has a brightening factor to it. I was really surprised because typically I'm not into that kind of color. Not usually. I mean, I love this one. This is the reason I bought the palette right here. Today I actually have Baby on my lid as well, which this one, it's like a pinky champagne kind of color. I suppose I should be swatching these bad boys. Um, the gold is, is a pretty gold. The mattes in here are where it's at. They're just, they're great. They just blend. You know, it's, I love it when you can find a product that works with you, not against you. And this is, this is it. So I think if you have not bought this yet and you're just kind of on the, if you're on the fence, take the plunge. Because here's the worst thing that could happen. You have to go back to the store to return it and get your money back. Like, you're not out of anything. Just keep your receipt, you know? So that's the awesome thing about makeup is that you can try it. And if, it, if you hate it or it's not right, you can bring it back or exchange it or something like that. So, yes, those are my uh, palette loves. Let's stick with the eyeshadows because I, I okay, so I did some shopping at MAC this month. And I was going to film a haul. And then I just didn't. <laughs> I kind of felt like, I don't know, I don't want to do too many hauls on my channel. But, um... Basically, bottom line is I bought a couple of these uh, extra dimension um, eyeshadows and I swatched them on Snapchat. 
And then a couple days later, I bought like six more because they're really nice. Um, these used to be limited edition. Do you remember a couple summers ago? It was the Alluring Aquatics collection and um, a lot of those, I think all those shades they've now made permanent and I'm so happy. But the two I've used this month um, and I've done a couple different eye looks with are these. This is um, Sea Worship. You guys, this is the most stunning shade of all of ever. And it looks so amazing on the lid. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's such a wearable color for any, any shade of eye. But watch this. Okay, so one finger, one tiny little touch. Bam. So, so pigmented. So pigmented, they glide on. Um, what brush? I think I just used like, um, oh, not a synthetic brush, but just like something like this. Where is it? To apply them. You can also use your finger. With the lighter colors, I used the finger. This is a Sigma E54, just a medium, medium sweeper. Um, it's just a little brush that you can use to pat on. But this is Sea Worship. Stunning. I love the formulation of these. I will say they're not going to last you all day. I think about after about six, seven hours, they started fading on me, um, which I'm okay with because if I'm going out for an evening, I'm not going to be out for 12 hours, you know, like I'm going out to dinner or whatever, or even like during the day, I'm okay if, with them fading after I film and I look fabulous now, but in about seven hours, not so much. Like I'm okay with that. Like I don't expect every single thing that I ever buy to meet all the standards and be amazing, but these hit everything else. So if longevity I mean, if that's an issue for you, you might not like these, but I don't know. I don't have super oily eyelids. I don't know. Smoky Mauve, this color is, oh, I love this color. Oh, it just makes you go like that, you know? Um, Smoky Mauve, actually, I think Smoky Mauve would look really cool with the Sea Worship. Aren't they stunning? They're like this extra dimension eyeshadow formula. <laughs> I don't know. They're different than the regular shadow. They're They're very soft, highly pigmented. I have several colors, but I wanted to share these two because those are the two I've been using the most. So is that going to do it for eyes? Nope, I have a couple more eye things here. So another one of the things I finally bought, um, I'm, I've, I've seen people talk about it, but just kind of dismissed it as, yeah, okay, whatever, I don't need that. So then I decided to buy one, and then after I bought one, opened it up and used it, I'm like, where have I been? Like, seriously, then I went out and bought another one. I'm talking about the MAC Extended Play Giga, ba Giga Black Lash. Very strange name. Um, it's a... Uh, I use this for my lower lashes. If you don't have any lower lashes or if they're small or barely there, this is going to give you like... Like, I look like I have lower eyelash extensions and I don't. It's just this mascara. The formulation combined with this, this wand... First of all, I hate using a regular mascara wand on my lower lash because I get it everywhere absolutely everywhere this is small you can get precise you can literally like I like to do it like this and pull them down and then you can kind of coat them once you pull them down so you can actually see them so I'm starting with like nothing okay lashes are not something I was blessed with there's some people that could just do a light coat and all of a sudden it looks like they're wearing false lashes no I could do a million coats and it still doesn't look like I'm wearing false lashes um this is amazing seriously the best lower lash mascara I've ever tried. I still like the Maybelline Lash Discovery, but I like this a little bit more because I just, I mean, I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is so good. So then I went out and bought another one. So I will never be without this. Seriously, it's that good. Um, so this is just, I think it only comes in black, I think. Um, okay. And then this mascara, I've, ha I've talked about this a little bit on Snap Snapchat too. Um, I've been using this all month long. I think I opened it at the end of December. It is so good. This is the Giorgio Armani Excess Eyes to Kill Mascara. This is all about volume and length, but not heavy, thick, clumpy, then you need another mascara to comb it out kind of situation. No, it's like the lightest, airy way to build your lashes. So basically, I like this better than the um, Chanel La Volume Mascara because the Chanel La Volume, although it gives great volume and stuff, it can be very clumpy. Very clumpy. The brush, did I show you the brush? I don't think so. Um, the brush on this is beautiful. It's full. It's kind of perfumey smelling actually. It, you know what this reminds me of? Something in the garden. Some sort of plant food or something. Like when you walk in a greenhouse. Odd. Anyways, um, this is like 
kind of slightly tapered on the end, kind of. And it has a natural hair bristled brush, but I don't know, it's really lightweight. It's a great wand, great formula, great mascara. Um, so if you are, you know, the, uh, well, it's not for a bit, but the, the Nordstrom Mascara Madness Sale, um, that's where I bought this last year. And um, I will put it on your list to try if you like volume and length in a very light, airy way. This is, this is a fabulous one. So that's going to do it for, um, no, let's just talk about this brush. Um, this is the Haki Hodo, Chaki Hodo, I don't know, the CHIK one, GSN 10 brush. Love this brush, guys. This is um, the brush I've been using every day since I got it. Thanks to Jelena. She is a subscriber here. She, she recommended this brush to me, and it's great. You know why it's great? Several reasons. First of all, it's very soft, and I think it's goat hair. Goat hair? Um, and it really blends out the eyeshadow so nicely. The way I'm holding it is also key because I tend to do this and go like this. And then I wonder why everything is not blended and it looks just atrocious. Um, it's because I'm choking upon this, you know what I mean? Um, and I need to have a light hand and it's such a light brush that it's not heavy. It's not like, you know, the Sigma where it's not tapered. And that might be a small detail, but for me that's a detail that matters because I'm able to hold it lightly out here and blend it. Um, this is a little heavier to just kind of, you can't really do that with this kind of brush. Granted, this is not a blending brush. Let's grab a blending brush. But it's the same thing. Like, you can't hold it out here and still have that preciseness, you know? Um, I think this is a beautiful brush. I ordered this from Beautylish. I believe that's the only place you can order this from, actually. Beautylish is a fabulous company. Really um, pleased with them as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice and tapered. It blends it really well. You can just, I don't know. I have nothing bad to say about this brush. I, the one thing I can say is I think you should try it. And I think you would really like it because I grabbed this over the Sigma E25, over the MAC 217, over any other tapered blending type brush with the exception of my Wayne Goss brushes, which I really like. This is, this is better than those other ones I previously mentioned because it's not as thick, you know? And I have, I have a problem with those things that are too thick brushes, makeup brushes. Like, I don't like them too thick because it just, then it just makes a mess. I like things to be a little bit smaller and tapered, you know, so you can get more precise. Anyway, so that brush is awesome. Let's talk about some base stuff, shall we? Sorry. Sometimes I just get a little crazy and a little off track. Um, I have two foundations I've been wearing all of this month. What I'm wearing today, the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I did a demo and review on this. I will link it below. Just watch it, and then after you watch it, just go buy this. <laughs> I mean, flawless, weightless, full coverage. That's not drying or cakey. It can be cakey if you use too much. It can be cakey if you don't use the right application method. Um, I tried my fingers this morning, but I had I put too much on my face, and it was seriously cakey, so I had to blend it out with this. This is my preferred brush for applying this foundation. I've tried it with other things, and this is what I like. This is the It Cosmetics. Um, airbrush Essen Essential Bronzer number 114. It's beautiful, beautiful brush. Really just, you need a buffing brush that really can move the product around because this is very full coverage and in, in about 2.2 seconds you can have cake face and then you're going to go and wash it off and start over. Um, but this foundation is so worth it. It's amazing. This brush together, it's a great combo. Um, the other foundation I also bought and did a review and demo on, I will link that below, is the I'm out of breath. <laughs> I feel like I'm always out of breath because I like have to, as you saw, put children back in bed and then they come in here for a third time asking for a water or a kiss or a hug. You know what I mean? Those of you who have children completely understand. It's like, just take a nap. <laughs> just take a nap. I need five minutes of solace. Um, Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. Um, for all the specs on both of these, I would advise you to watch the video, but I've been using them all month long, and I do enjoy both of them. They are nothing alike. They are complete opposite ends of the spectrum, um, so depending on the type of skin you have, the type of coverage you're looking for, um, I would steer you in either direction. I like them both for different reasons, and I wear them for different uh, occasions and whatnot, um, but this is also a very beautiful beautiful foundation in a different way you know and, and I have like if you were to open my foundation door I have lots of different foundations but 
different times of year, different occasions, um, different coverage levels. It depends how my skin is. Depends what I'm feeling. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so another face thing that I'm actually trying to use up because, <laughs> oh my gosh, I had this concealer for a shameful amount of time. Um, this appeared in my Best in Beauty of 2013. <laughs> And I still love it. I th Okay, so I tend to like stash things away that I really like and not use them and try to use up the crap I bought in between um, just because I, I don't want to waste the good stuff, which is a dumb thing because if you like it, use it because you're going to like how your face looks and your makeup looks, blah, blah, blah. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I have to use this up within this next month, and I've done pretty good. There's probably, well... By golly, I, pff, this lasts forever. It's a great eyeshadow primer. It's a great concealer. Full coverage. Uh, doesn't get cakey. I don't get creasing. And I do have fine lines under here. And I do experience creasing of a uh, concealer. I didn't used to have that problem. I didn't have that problem in 2013. Oh my gosh, it's crazy to look back at yourself like three years ago and be like, wow, I looked so young. And like... I don't know, it's just weird. Um, but anyways, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I've been using it all month long. I want to use it up, not because I don't like it, but because I actually love it. And I, I, I would definitely repurchase this. I might actually just repurchase this. Um, I do want to try the new Makeup Forever one that everyone's raving about. Um, I, I know not everyone loves it, but I want to try it for me. You know what I mean? If I love it, I'll let you know. Um, if I don't, I'll let you know. Um, but anyways, I do love this. I think it's great. I think it's a fabulous concealer, and it's, it's worked well for me. Um, oh... Sorry, I just got an ugly zit up here, and thank goodness I have bangs. But it's like the kind that hurts, you know, and then I made the mistake of picking it because I'm a picker. Um, TMI, I know. Sometimes I forget, like, okay, you're not just talking to your best friend. <laughs> like, you're talking to all these people that probably think you are straight up crazy. Um, oh, let's, I should have done this earlier. I have two eye um, creams I've been using. I've actually been using these more than just the month of January. I've, I think pretty much December and January. I placed an order in December at, for, at Ulta, and they had a code. Look how big these are. They had a code you could use, and you got two. Actually, I think I got something else, too. Um, Lancome eye creams. What are these? Not, like, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 ounces. Isn't a full size, like, half an ounce? I don't know, guys, but this was a fabulous free gift. Like, if they ever do this again, I'm getting these again because I really like these eye creams. So they're two different ones. This is the high-resolution uh, refill three times. Let's see. Triple Action Renewal Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. This one's lighter. Um, doesn't really have too much of scent. It's kind of nice. This this I've been using in the daytime. And, gosh, it's almost gone, but I've been using it for a solid month, so I just it should be um and i do eye creamed it morning and night um but this one it says you can use am and or pm i like the other one for pm because it's thicker this is better for daytime i will tell you that with what did i use this with it reacted with one of my concealers um but you know not all products get along you know um but i've been really enjoying these i think they're very nice eye creams i think they're probably really expensive but i mean lancome skincare it's nice stuff um Okay, and then this is the multi-action eye, lifting and firming eye cream. This one's great at nighttime because, it, like I said, it's thicker. It's got a nice, nice smell to it, actually. I really like it. So, and, you know, you don't need much eye cream. I tend to go, I kill a little overzealous sometimes and just, like, stick my finger in there. And then all of a sudden I got eye cream up to here because I have so much. You know what I mean? Um, and um, so, anyways, I've been enjoying both of these eye creams and would definitely recommend. I mean, I would. I don't know how much the full sizes are, but I like, I like those. Um, okay, let's talk about this. So, I picked up, uh, during one of my, um, orders, um, and I didn't do a haul, I already told you that, um, maybe I should have, but I pretty much show you what I bought anyways. Um, this is Max uh, Matte Blush, Blush, in the shade Harmony. I've been using it to contour. It is like a pinky brown color, which I think is, well, truthfully, it, even if you have darker skin, you could use this as blush because I think that's what it's intended for, but I've been using it as a contour. I really like it. I think this would be pretty as a blush though too. It's just, I mean, hmm, it could almost look like dirt maybe a little bit. I don't know. It borderline, well, I don't know. It's really pretty. I've been using it to contour. I've been really enjoying it uh, because it's, it's like a pinky brown color, you know, and it creates a nice, I mean, it's a warmer shadow, but I don't know, I've been liking it on myself. Like, you know, 
some of the more cooler tone ones I, I put it on. Yeah, it creates a shadow, but I almost feel like my cheeks look dirty. And I don't know, I don't think this makes them look dirty. It just gives some warmth, you know, it's almost like a bronze kind of color. Um, I am so out of breath. I feel like you could use this as an eyeshadow too. So, I don't know, Max Harmony, I've been really liking it. So, I don't think there's necessarily, like, all these rules you have to follow with makeup. If you like it, rock it. You know, like, who's making these rules anyways? Like, the makeup gods? I don't know. This is great, though. Alright, so... Another like cheek product or a cheek brush. Let's talk about these two brushes. So oh, December I placed my first like Morphe order for brushes and these are my two standouts out of that order. I would highly recommend both of these brushes. I think you will truly love them and they're both so cheap but they're not cheaply made. These are the elite elite brushes. Now I have not tried any of their other brushes I don't know if I care to. I really like the Elite Collection. I think they're made nice. They're well, they're well made. They're very soft. This feels a lot like my Sephora one. It feels dang near exactly the same. It even looks the same, does it not? Isn't that crazy? But this was like a $26 brush maybe, or, or maybe it was like $30, and this is like $6.99 or something crazy like that. This is the uh, Morphe E4 Blush Brush love it it's great guys um you know and i've shared several times that i love the it cosmetics blush brush however once again it's so much thicker and then i get blush everywhere where is it i love it but it's just not as precise it's it's wider see i don't know i like the preciseness and this and the smallness of this other one much better so Morphe E4, fabulous. And then this brush, if you're going to buy it, which you should, just put three in your cart. Because I made the mistake of only buying one, and now I use it every day, and then I have to wash it, and that's annoying. So if you're going to buy one, buy three. Um, this is the E36 pencil brush, and you're like, well, it's just a pencil brush. No, nope, I have lots of pencil brushes. This is not just a pencil brush. It's not as stiff. It blends much better, it's softer, it diffuses the color much better. You know if you put your br your pencil brush in the shadow and then you go to go like this and you have too much, all of a sudden you have a ton of shadow right here. Now you gotta sit there for five minutes to blend it out. That's not gonna happen with this because it doesn't get too much there. And even if it does, psh, done, blended, done, just buy this. E36 Pencil Brush by Morphe. Fantabulous. I'm sweating. Ugh, you guys. I have this problem every time I film. Like, I have these big plans to wear these big, cute sweaters and stuff. Then the sweater sit right there and the t-shirt goes on because it's just too hot with one, two, three, four, five, six lights in here. Like, how many lights does a girl need? I mean, ooh. Okay. Last, last, um, category. Lips. Oh, man, I love my lip products. You know, a girl needs options with lips because I usually change it up at least once a day like no lie like I'll put a combo on and then later in the afternoon I'll be feeling something else because sometimes I like to just see like how I mean a lipstick can completely change your entire makeup look because if I took this red lip off and put on some of these ones um which I had originally had some of these on and then I thought no nah, we're going for a red today it just changes everything um so let's start with what it is that I'm wearing this is NARS's um velvet matte lip pencil in the shade dragon girl this is the shade. When I found this out, I ordered it immediately. That Taylor Swift's makeup artist puts on her. And I love that red color on her. And I just thought it was so pretty. So I had to have it. Um, this velvet matte is so gorgeous. It, Like the description says, it is a velvety matte lipstick. It doesn't feel dry. I mean, after a long time, yes, it feels dry. It, I mean, I drank a coffee. This didn't move. It looks soft and elegant. It's not a harsh matte. It's not a drying matte. I love the pencil formula. I do enjoy these. I really do. So, NARS Dragon Girl, if you're looking for a great red, this this is it. Um, the other color, which I bought this, and when I initially bought it, I, I, I had, was last summer, and I didn't like it so much in the summer, but in the winter time, this is a great matte. This is Persistence, and this is a darker matte. It's by MAC, by the way. Um, my goodness, my hand is bare. I have, have I been swatching this stuff, you guys? I don't know, my mind is, 
out there listening uh, for little ones at the door. So sometimes I'll be talking and thinking about something else at the same time and I completely forget. But I'll remember as I watch it back to edit that I forgot and then it's too late. Um, here is Persistence. It's kind of like a brownish, you know what it is? It's like a deeper version of Kinda Sexy and I love Kinda Sexy. You know, it's kind of like that peachy nude. This has more brown to it, but it's so pretty on the lips. I really like it. So for a darker nude, this, this is really pretty. And what was I pairing? I think I paired it with um, Spice, Max Spice Lip Liner, which is very similar to that. Um, okay, another color. I love the name of this one. Color Pops. Oh, snap. It's a matte, which their mattes aren't super matte either. They're not anything like the velvet mattes. I think they actually are a little more glossy. This is beautiful. This is part of the Christmas collection, and I placed an order for a bunch of Color Pop lippy sticks this month. And this was one of the ones I had bought because I knew it was part of the Christmas and I feared that it would not be available anymore. And I really like the color. It's like a nudie, beige, a great nude, truly. It's really pretty on. Like, you put this on, it's just so easy. Um, really, really like this one. Oh, snap. I think you need this color. I think you should just buy it. Um, <laughs> and my last favorite this color I had been looking at for forever. Like, I think almost two years I was looking at this at the Lancome counter and I finally just bought it because, I don't know, I just, I needed it. It's beautiful. So it's Lancome's uh, Le Absolu Rouge, this line. They have a few different lines. But I think this is like the original uh, line. This one's number 244 and it's called Rose Amnesia. It's so pretty, you guys. This is the most beautiful... I wore this in last week's Friday Loves, if you want to see me wearing it. It is the most beautiful, rosy, everyday, easy color. It almost comes off as, you can be definitely pair it like, with a darker liner to make it deeper or just with the same color liner um, to make it just like a nudie rose color, but I think it's, I think it's beautiful. And I actually wore it with this palette, which was a perfect pairing because it has those mauve -y, rosy types of shades, and I really enjoy those types of shades. Okay, that is all that I have for my January favorites. <laughs> um, tomorrow, I might have tomorrow's video up tomorrow, if I can, but if it's not up tomorrow, it will be up shortly after, because tomorrow... I can't say, but you can just guess what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> so I will hopefully get th that video up tomorrow or Sunday or Monday at the latest. I'm going to try to get it up. But anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. And I know I'm going to have the most amazing weekend of the year. And I will chit-chat with you soon. Bye, guys.